Hello Mila. Hello Jack. Hello everybody else who's watching. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from Bob the Builder and it is Bob's Pizza. Wendy had a big job for Rolly and Muck. Today we're going to build a lane just for bicycles on one of our town's busy roads, she said. Spud came by the job site. He wanted to help. Mr Bentley was happy to have help, so he handed Spud a walkie-talkie and a traffic sign. Spud was excited. Hello, this is Spud speaking, he said into his walkie-talkie, and walking while I talk. OK, Spud, said Mr Bentley. Stop any car that comes along, then call me and ask if the road is clear. If it is, you can let the cars through. Do you understand? Spud pretended he'd been listening. Uh, uh, yes, Mr Bentley. Yes, of course I do. Spud's on the job. Down the street at Mr Sabatini's Pizza, Scoop and Bob were on another job. Mr Sabatini explained, My conveyor belt that carries the pizza through the oven won't work. All right, I'll get to work, said Bob. Bob fixed the conveyor belt, but Mr Sabatini was still unhappy. The pizza's all burnt, he said. Don't worry, said Bob. I know what I need to do. I just have to speed up the conveyor belt. When Bob had fixed the speed of the conveyor belt, out came a perfect pizza. It's a disaster, said Mr Sabatini. Bob was confused. But the pizza looks very nice, he said. The pizza is fabulous, Bob, said Mr Sabatini. The disaster is that my delivery man has called in sick. How am I going to deliver the pizzas? Meanwhile, Wendy and her team were working hard on the bicycle lane. OK, Dizzy, she said. Start mixing the cement with this green dye. The path is green, so cyclists will know that it's their place to ride. Soon, Bob and Scoop were delivering pizzas. They brought one to Mrs Potts. After they delivered a pizza to Mr Dixon, there was just one pizza left in the Scoop. We'd better get it to Mr Fothergill while it's still hot, Bob said. No prob, Bob, Scoop said as he zoomed off. There was a traffic jam up ahead. I'll go see what the problem is, said Bob. He saw Spud holding up the red side of his traffic sign in front of Travis and Lofty. Spud's holding up traffic, Travis exclaimed. Sorry, Travis, Spud said. I can't let you go. You're supposed to use your walkie-talkie to ask Mr Bentley if the road is clear, Bob told Spud. Over the walkie-talkie, Mr Bentley said, I've been wondering why there hasn't been any traffic all morning. The road is clear. Spud stepped aside to let everyone pass through. Bob and Scoop finally made their last delivery. Here's your pizza, Mr Fothergill. Oh, it's not <laughs> for me, said Mr Fothergill. I'm <laughs> allergic to pizza. It's for my <laughs> parrot, Hamish. Mr Fothergill flipped open the box and Hamish swooped down and grabbed a bite. Pizza parrot, squawk, pizza parrot, he screeched. Hamish flew back up to his perch on Mr Fothergill's head. Bob called Mr Sabatini to let him know all the pizzas had been delivered. Bellissimo, Bob, said Mr Sabatini. Now I will give you as much pizza as you can eat. Thank you, said Bob. Uh, you don't happen to have a pizza with apples or radishes or jam, do you? 
Wendy and her team were done with the bicycle lane. All we need now, said Wendy, is a bicycle to try it out. To everyone's surprise, Mr Bentley opened up his briefcase and pulled out and unfolded a scooter. Very practical, Mr Bentley, said Wendy, laughing, as he swooshed away. Bye. Just then, Bob and Scoop drove up. Scoop was carrying three steaming pizzas. I'm glad you're done, Wendy, said Bob, because we've bought lunch. Oh, Bob, that's great, exclaimed Wendy. Yes, continued Bob, handing out the pizzas. A pineapple and corn pizza for Wendy, a mushroom and onion deep dish for me, and one for Spud too. Ah, my favourite, Spud said as he took a slice. It's the Spud Special. Pizza with apple, radishes and jam. The end. Goodbye, Mila. Goodbye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.